In this problem, we need to simplify. It's important to remember that whatever we find the square root of in the problem, when it comes out of the radical sign, it's going to get multiplied by whatever number or letter that's outside, which in this case is a 3. So the first thing I need to start asking myself is, what can I already take the square root of that's inside of this problem? I'm going to bring down the 3 because we're going to wait until we find the square root of something so we can multiply it by that number. And then I ask myself, what's the square root of 25? The square root is 5. So once you find the square root of that number, you no longer need to write it underneath the radical sign. Let's move on to the next part, x to the 7th. Since that is a, has an odd exponent, we need to manipulate that a little bit before we can finish solving it. So let's skip that and go to the next one. z to the negative 8. Now in order to find the square root of this variable raised to the 8th power, what you simply need to do is divide that exponent by 2. So in that case, you're going to get z fourth. Now again, that's me taking the square root of z to the 8th. That's how I get z to the fourth, which now is on the outside. So the only thing left inside the radical is x to the seventh. So next what we'll do is we'll just simplify the outside. And in this case, 3 times 5 gives me 15, z to the fourth. Now underneath the radical, remember I said there was an odd exponent here. Since we need to divide that exponent by 2, what we need to do is change it a little bit. What's the closest even exponent to 7? That will be x to the 6. And we're going to multiply it by x so that we're technically not changing the problem. x to the 6 times x gives us x to the 7th. So simply what we did was find some factors of x to the 7th, one of which would be even that we can actually find the square root of. So again, ask yourself, can I take the square root of x to the 6? Yes, I can by dividing it by 2. So now I'm going to get on the outside 15. 6 divided by 2 is 3, so I get x cubed, z fourth, the square root of x. Because that number, that variable, we cannot find the square root of it. So it is still underneath the radical sign.